Grade 3 math, number 72, one-fourth. We're going to talk about one-fourth today. I have a purple box, and I cut it into four pieces. One, two, three, four. Each one of these pieces is one-fourth of the box. Four pieces, one of the pieces is one-fourth. They're all fourths of a whole box. If you add one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth, you get one whole. When you add all of these together, you get the whole box. Okay? Let's look at this. We've got four groups, and they've got marbles in them. Green marbles, red, purple, and blue. There's one group that's blue out of four groups. One, two, three, four. One out of four is blue, so one-fourth of these groups are blue. Two blue marbles out of a total of eight marbles is two-eighths. One-fourth is equal to two-eighths. Look, two times one equals two, two times four equals eight. Here's our one-fourth. It's how many times two can fit into the eight. So these are equivalent fractions. In fact, if you have two-eighths and your homework says to reduce the fraction, that's what they want it to reduce to. You say, how many times can two go into eight? It can go in four times. One, two goes into the eight four times. Let's take a look at this one. We've got 20 orange marbles and five are circled. Five of the 20 are circled. Five twentieths are circled. 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 4 is 20, 5 twentieths, see? So here's our 5 twentieths, and here's our 1 fourth. It's how many times 5 can go into that 5 and that 20, 1 fourth. Okay, now we've got 36 purple mar marbles. 9 are circled. 9 of the 36 are circled. 36 total, 9 are circled. 9 thirty-sixths. That's the fraction. How many times can 9 go into 36? 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 4 is 36. Here's our 9 thirty-six, and here's our 1 fourth. It's how many times that 9 goes into there. See? 1 fourth is equal to 9 thirty-sixths. So now let's look at if we have one whole thing and we cut it up. Here's a cake, and you're going to eat two pieces. There's an eight pieces total, okay, and you're going to eat two of them. That means you're going to eat a fourth of them. Two slices of cake, when there's eight slices in all, is two-eighths. Two-eighths is equal to one-fourth of the cake. That's two slices, see? And there's four sections, see? So two-eighths is equal to one-fourth. Two times one is 2, and 2 times 4 is 8. See? And so you get your 1 fourth. That's 1 fourth. It's when there's four groups, and you've got one of them. Sorry for my dog barking. Okay? So that's 1 fourth. We're going to talk about 1 fifth in the next video, and hopefully my dog won't be barking. I'll see you there.